Hello, welcome. I'm Levitator and today I'm back playing Amnesia the Bunker. Now if you've missed my first video on this game, don't worry, you can always check it out on my channel. So without further ado, let's play. So the first thing I'm going to do is check the map so I can see where our new objectives are so we know where to get started. So last time I played, I got a few different bits of information that are going to inform where we need to go this time. So I picked up some different journal entries. Now they stated that we need to blow up the exit to get out of here. In order to get to the exit and blow that up, we need to get into the arsenal because that's where the dynamite is. But in order to get into the arsenal, we need to get the code for the arsenal. And in order to do that, we have to go to the soldiers' quarters. And within the soldiers' quarters, there should be a communication room. And when we go there, we need to hide and we need to listen to a code that's hopefully going to be played out over the radio. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to go to the soldiers' quarters um, to get that code. Now, there also seems to be a circle just opposite mission storage. Um, I wonder if that's maybe to do with maybe something I need to come back to at a later point. That might have been to do, there was like a wheel um, that I needed to turn, um, like a vent or something. So that might have been that because that fell off. I did actually get another code. Um, so the other code that I got was the Bardin 2942. I'm not sure if that's for a locker for some items or if that's something useful. So before we do that, we need to get some more fuel in the generator because currently um, after the last playthrough, I used all the fuel that I had. So we're gonna get um, a little bit of fuel in the generator um, and then we're gonna head to the soldiers quarters. Okay, let's do this. So let's get our fuel in. So press tab. And then left click. Get that in there. Let's do this. Left. Right, not that way, Ooh. this way, down here. I can't get in there, so I've got okay. So, there's got to be another way for me to get in there. I wonder if there's something in here I can get. Four two. I'm trying to remember. Two nine four two. Oh, it was that memory for you. And then load a bullet. Great, okay. And then we're going back to this bad guy. Okay. So I need to work out Okay, how do I get into there if there's a lockdown? Do I need to like throw something at it? But then I'm gonna make loads of noise. Just going to check and see if there's any other potential ways I could go before I do that. Oh, okay, there's an explosion thingy here. This is going to make so much noise. Yeah. 
I don't know if that did anything. I don't know if that did anything. That's where I've got to go. But I'm running out of... I've got no fuel though, the thing is I've got absolutely no fuel so about to go into full <sighs> okay x okay can i get that back at some point okay. why can't i open that making a weird noise. Here, God, guys, I'm just like, I don't think they can. Oh, nice. <sighs> J Delisa 2876. We've got something else. I feel like with this game, um, <laughs> obviously, I was aiming to not have the lights go out but I kind of feel like you only get so much time um so and I think there's more to do than I have time on the fuel with the generator to sort of get done so I'm just I just have to bite the bullet and just go for it I don't think blowing up that thing helped I think that just made a shit ton of noise and wasted some explosives but I could be wrong I will go back and check I just think because there's like so many different things you can do with this game like different items you can use it's really hard to tell sometimes some more bullets what is that I don't know what that is is that a bit of meat 
I'm going to drop this. Meat. What does that do? Expired meat should not be consumed by soldiers, but are used to attract rodents and other bunker pests can be thrown. Okay, so that's a distraction technique. Great, let's use that to our advantage. Okay. So, let's have a look-see. 15th of May, 1916, to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett. I am now putting into writing what I have reported to both of my immediate superiors. Last evening, on the 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest areas of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquids seeping from the walls. Well, that's not a good sign. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was... There was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. Did he get high off the weird liquid? Um, I blinked again and it was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second. That or he had some sort of like vision. Uh, it lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Okay. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Mm, sounds like some sort of madness. Okay, so that is in the deepest part of the tunnels. So that's probably the deepest pits of hell where I'm going to find the detonator in these Roman tunnels. Okay. That's another bit of law for us. Okay, so there's something there that I can make a bandage out of. Oh my god, I did not see I did not see that there. Jesus Christ, I'm not safe in here at all. I'm trying to work out where I am right now. I'm gonna just crouch. I don't know if that helps with noise, but oh, so there's a bomb there. I don't think I can unsort that. Oh, there's no lock on this side <sighs> okay let's do this guys let's do this I'm thinking so I'm gonna go check and see if that bit there is um, if I've opened it with the explosives if not then I guess I need to find another route there so the only way to do that really is just through exploring I got some fuel though so I'm gonna chuck that in Let's go. 
Oh. I've got a feeling that didn't work and I'm going to have to find another route around. Yeah, no, that didn't work. There's a big old noise. There's nothing. No, okay, right. Somehow I've got to find a way in there. Waste of explosives and time and everything else. Okay. Not a light down here. Okay, that's oh there it is there. I should have pulled that earlier when I was down here. with me at all okay so I'm in here right I think I'm going to the prison okay I'm about to lose Sure, that doesn't do anything, but the girl can try, eh? Right, okay. Is there anything I need in here? Should we do it? where I went to before isn't it okay yeah Okay, we're going to hold up in here for a second. I don't know if this does anything. I can't move it. Okay. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab my note. And then I'm going to open some drawers and I'm going to hide under... Oh, I've got another grenade. Run out of space, I've got another note. Okay. I'm going to go under here for a second. Right. Let's catch up. Let's see what we're doing. So, I've tried to blow up the door. That didn't work. So now I know when I see that, those doors cannot be blown up. I did try to shoot the chain on the prison um, gate, but that didn't work either. So I might need to investigate why that is. It looked like there's lots of good items in there. Maybe I need to find a key for that. I'm in Fournier's room right now. We've had a few notes from Fournier. Um, so I'm just gonna try and catch up on some of these notes that I found whilst I've been going around. So he says, I have ordered increased security for the arsenal, lock and code, and I will root out those responsible for this horrendous act. Justice will be done for France. Okay, so what's happened? From Fournier to Foreman Stafford. This is our fourth formal request for a resupply of wine. The cellar is running low. I fear the reaction among the men and my fellow officers if we're forced to implement harsher rationing. I'm already fielding complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale, and morale runs on wine. <laughs> Fair enough. My initial request was 10 crates. So far, we have received two. Fix it. 
Situation report. After Tremblay's death, the bunker descended into chaos. I've retaken control and ordered the men to form up in squads. They're to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible. They tell me the bullets don't kill it. They only buy a little time and then the beast comes back angrier. Cowards. I've sent them back out now to do as they should. Hunt and kill it. If they fail, they'll face a worse fate than claws in the darkness. I'm not sure there is one, to be honest. Nothing super helpful. I'm really annoyed that I can't actually move that over that. It's quite frustrating. Nothing in there. Now in here we've got a photo. What's that? It's our fifth photo of a hand, a severed hand by a hole. I wonder if that's the kind of thing where it's like if you go by a hole you're going to die or you can put some meat down by a hole to like encourage it to stay on one end of the map whilst you're in another I have got some meat now so if I need to use it I have got some if I survive I may become the meat myself creepy doll, some rope I'm not really sure, I don't think the rope serves me any purpose um okay so these are just odd he's moving about he's moving about guys i've got my gun i feel a bit stupid having this lock on here now knowing that i've got a bloody hole in this room but hey ho made me feel better for five seconds right we're gonna pump this Oh, smack ourselves in the face. I'm gonna crouch because that also makes me feel better. He's got a lock on that, so we can't get in there. That's a dead end, so that's not helpful. Okay. Is this the room I was in before? It is with the cupboard. Oh, I love that. Do you know what I'm gonna do? gonna pump me old flashlight in here God, i feel like it's one of those things where it's like where you need to get to you can't get to so we're gonna have to go around the houses to try and actually get there so i'm just gonna try and i think explore the area see how much stuff i can get without dying um and see if i find anything useful I wonder if the like when it when the explosion goes off. I wonder if that forces him out of his holes or not. If that has any any like gameplay aspects with this. Okay, so I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm gonna pump my flashlight. What's in here? This is probably like I'm not actually safe in here because just open it and kill me. But it makes me feel better. I'm also not. I'm also not sure if like these things on the ground make loads of noise. So I'm just avoiding them. Maybe I need to go. Wait. If I, if I just come. Wait, what's this way? If I just come from this way. I'm getting really turned around here, guys. Okay, so is this. This is Fornios. Okay, this is where I've just come from. Okay, I can't go. I don't know. 
I'm trying to think what where I need to go at this stage. And then I unlock this. Okay. Let's try and work this out, shall we? Seems to be the only space that this thing can't get me in. Mission storage. That's got a big circle on it now. Why has mission storage got a big circle on it? Maybe I need to go back there? I don't have any more codes. Oh no, I do. J, okay, so that's why that circle, because I've got J Delisole. 2876 right okay got ya I feel like this is the way I went down but this was like blocked off so I couldn't go that way this way is blocked off and is the prison blocked off as well I feel like it is let's go to J Delisle's thing J de Lisley was 2876. made sparkly noises guys I think that's an important item so then we can pop that on there right how do I use it right click stick it on so is that the lockdown are we about to undo lockdown wait how does this work oh I've got a light Wind it. I'm winding it. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> I've already worked out the first puzzle now, which is the fact that I need to get that wheel. And I found the code, so that's good. And I got that through exploring, so well done, us. I'm gonna have a quick save. Progress saved. So we've done that now, so now we should be able to get to the soldiers' quarters. How am I doing? I haven't got long. Let's just let's just do this. I don't know if like when the lights on, he just will not come out, or if I'm like a real silly watsy, he will come out, running around and. Here, all sorts. Okay. Oh, oh, loading a new area there. Yes. Got some more fuel. Communications. Oh, but this is still. Wait, I can't. I need a key. I need a key. No. What oh, is a light here? Can't get in here either. Okay.
Oh my god. Oh my god. I know I'm not safe yet, but oh my god. Can I just say that? <laughs> I thought I was gone. I thought I was gone. Oh, okay. So is this him and his family? It's kind of it's kind of creepy. Like I don't know what's going on with the faces, but it's a bit creepy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys. So he's about I made I think I made the right decision by not I don't want to like open a door or anything because I feel like a small amount of noise would attract it right now so I feel like I'm just gonna have to like wait him out it's very big and very angry right little note what note did I get there 9th of July night my conscience compels me now as it failed to compel me then I must do something even if it costs me my own life I must do something lest I never sleep again I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief I must do something I go. Okay. Whew. So this is okay. So I'm sorry for being really slow here. I've just worked out, even though it says in brackets me, the ones that are read out are my diaries. So I'm trying to work out. <clears throat> I think because, like, this game is so scary. My brain is, like, constantly frazzled whilst I'm playing this. So I'm, like, picking up notes. But half the time I'm like not taking information in because I'm just so scared and running on adrenaline. So, Henry Clement, we know, I know we're Henry, but these notes, they're me. That's why I'm hearing some voice acting. I understand now, I'm catching up, okay? I'm getting used to the game, I'm getting used to the, the gist of it. I'm still finding it incredibly scary, but we're getting somewhere, we're making some progress. So, so I've done something, something has happened. Um, yeah, they don't know what I've done. Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. So we're all at, like, we're all at war, right? So I'm sure it's not just the shooting of other, other soldiers, but I could be wrong. Maybe he's finding it harder than everyone else. That is an option. Um, but the way he's sort of describing it, you know, do they know what I've done? Uh, makes it imply that if they did... Um, that they would be shocked or sort of ashamed of him in some way um, and they've all been partaking in war shooting people so I don't think it's like normal stuff I think we've done something worse and um, so I guess we're just trying to figure that out whilst the monster's also trying to kill us and maybe it's to do with the monster <gasps> maybe hmm We'll have to, have to throw out some theories there. If anyone's got any theories. No spoilers if you've already like played the game or you've already watched someone else play it. I don't want any spoilers because I'm really enjoying going into this completely blind. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas of what it could be, maybe he tried to save his friend and did some weird like stuff and now he's turned into a big monster and he wants to eat everyone. You know? I, I want to hear your theories, okay? I'll, I'll be looking forward to to reading those if you've got any do you, I, lo I love coming up with theories like whenever I'm like watching a horror film or um like a mystery or something I love coming up like what what are we thinking here like what what are we thinking uh, is the story so let me know what you guys think it could be okay now I think I've calmed down a little bit 
from <laughs> although I'm probably about to unpause and go straight back into the exact same situation now I've recovered a little bit let's uh let's keep going shall we I have no idea where we are I don't know where those sounds are coming from, like if they're behind me or in front of me, that's a dead end. those no, I'll leave you alone mate I'll leave you alone okay I'm not I'm not face okay so they're a thing they're probably eating someone over there oh my god I wonder if I like do I have that meat on me I've got some meat on me so I could I wonder if I throw this. Do they want this? Did I just waste them. running I'm running I'm not trying to be brave here I'm trying to live so the rats are in the holes as well he's thumping about he's very heavy footed isn't he Oh my god, did he get exploded? Did he get exploded? That wasn't, that wasn't me, mate. I didn't do that. Someone else left that around. Don't get mad at me. I had nothing to do with that, thank you. It sounds like it's getting closer. He's got bandages all over him. Maybe he is our mate. What am I doing on the... Okay, so I've got space for fuel. Oh, God, I've got good reach, haven't I? I'm just going to live under this bed for the foreseeable future. I don't know where I'm going. What is that? That's the meat that I chucked. That was pointless, wasn't it? Am I walking towards him or away from him?
I haven't got anything to heal myself with. I did get messed up with the rats. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I don't know how I'm going to deal with the rats. I sort of like messed that up a bit. I just sort of ran in there. <laughs> To be fair, I th I'm pretty certain he was like right behind me. So I was like, well, it's do or die. You've been injured, be careful. You're now leaving blood trails that might attract certain creatures. No, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh God. And I left all my, if I'd have known. Okay, right. Let's pop that down for a second. Giblets. He wants my giblets. I'm just bleeding over here and he can smell me. He's like, you smell really tasty. I just don't want to lose my save data. I need to get back somehow. It's been so long since I saved. I feel like I've made some really good progress. What have I got? I've got a bandage. Okay, because I want to like heal myself. my gun is that one yeah all right i don't like if i can help it obviously some health please attracted to my injury how can I <laughs> deal with this so I wonder if like they don't like my flashlight Whatever. they're not bothered like some health please okay, so they're going to attract that dickhead oh, okay. 
let's pop this down for a second Oh no. <sighs> I got my first death, guys. I tried my best. Mole House, 1914. Days before the retreat, I was surrounded by wire and mud. A German right there, right in front of me. I knew I needed a sound that would distract him, so I grabbed an old wine bottle and tossed it. The clatter it made, the German jumped at it, and I had him. So they're like, use a glass bottle to distract the dude. I, you know, I thought... I might have been safe under the table. I'm still trying to work out what the mechanics are. Um, anyway, I wasn't safe under the table. So there we go. So that's all the time I've got for Amnesia the Bunker. I had my first death. I got to see some of the other parts of the bunker. And I got to see some new enemies. Uh, do let me know what you guys are thinking of this series down in the comments below. And if you are enjoying it, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Until next time.